the MLB and MLBPA have yet to come to an agreement, which means we will be missing at least the first two series for each team in the MLB season. Most fans are saddened by this, including me, because myself and so many others are pumped to see what the players can do on the field and how the game of baseball could grow. The MLB recently has started to see a lot of growth throughout the recent years, but with this lockout, it will affect how the game will be pushed out to the younger generation and people who don't watch the game. And it seems like the owners and Rob Manfred just don't care. After the MLB and MLPA could not come up to an agreement, Manfred was set to address the media and when he did, he seemed to not really care and he looked like he was just laughing. Manfred may not be the guy truly having influence on these negotiations, but he still is not great with the media and is extremely smug and he has just done stuff that makes me question if he really cares about baseball. Now in that press conference, he responded to a question which essentially was why did the MLB try to not negotiate earlier instead of waiting to negotiate last minute? And Rob Manfred responded with this. Yeah, I think the, the best answer to that question is the last 10 days. We've been here, ready to bargain, full committees, owners, players for 10 days, and it got going two days before the deadline. I, you know, that's the best explanation I can give you. Now, we all know why the MLB didn't want to negotiate with the players. They wanted the players to be backed into a wall so they would take a sorry deal. Luckily, the players stayed strong and did not do that. However, Rob Manfred just completely blew off the question. He didn't even give a full-on answer. That was just disgusting to watch. And what's even worse is that we are not able to see the MLBPA's press conference and see their side of the story because the MLB Network is a propaganda network for the MLB. At one point on MLB Network, they were showing how the minimum salary, which is a huge argument and discussion for the MLBPA and MLB, and they were showing how the minimum salary for MLB players has increased from 2017 to 2021. And when they showed this on air, they made it seem like this was a huge increase in bump in pay. But really, it was only 8% for the last five years, which is absolutely disgusting. The MLB has been getting a good amount of revenue each and every year and it's increased each and every year at least for the last 17 years and the fact that they've only gotten an eight percent increase in the last five years for the minimum salary is extremely disrespectful and disgusting especially since mlb and the mlb owners are taking in all this money and what these big name mlb players that were in the negotiations are fighting for is the guys that are gonna get the minimum salary the guys that are not gonna really be getting paid that much they're fighting for the little mlb players that are not gonna be the top guys not get the top dollar because it's absolutely disgusting that there's only an eight percent increase and the mlb has been receiving a ton of money every single year and it's been increasing for the last 17 years and another thing the mlb and the owners have been fighting for a lot of things that honestly are going to be hurting the game they were fighting for a 14 team playoff which they actually sold to espn and other networks which they were supposed to be making 100 million dollars from that and now the players are saying if we do not get a full season if we do not get a negotiation done we do not want the 14 team playoff which i agree because the 14 team playoff allows for teams that are mediocre and not amazing to make it into the playoffs which means they can stay mediocre and not have to really try and compete and try to win a championship and now it just ruins the competitiveness of the game and so the MLBPA is looking for a 12 team playoff they're fine with the increase but they're trying to go in the middle and uh, go with the 12 team playoff also of course the minimum salary is another issue the MLB does not want to really increase that there's also another thing which is a huge issue is the tax the competitive balance tax which honestly it's a cap the mlb wants it to start at 220 million which the players want it to start at a higher dollar amount which makes sense because the players want to get paid a lot more and if there's a cap there's going to be teams that are going to pay a little less uh, than what the players do want so it makes sense why the players want the cap to be higher and the other thing the mlb was wanting was a pre-arbitration a bonus pool which would be 25 million dollars which the players also want to increase on that the mlb players just want to increase on everything so the league can be more competitive and uh, the players can get paid a little more which makes sense because mlb's revenue is increasing and the mlb is growing which is really good to see so the players want to see at least some of that money back now i truly hope i truly hope bob nightingale and all uh, these tweets come out and say the MLB and MLBPA have uh, negotiated the deal, but I don't know when that's going to happen. I hope the players can get a little spring training and I just hope the MLB 
can come back because we are really needing baseball. Like, I really do not want to watch basketball right now. I really want to watch the MLB. I want to see guys like Juan Soto play, Mike Trout, Ronald Acuna Jr. come back. All these guys come back so we as fans could enjoy ourselves and enjoy watching the sport we love and the sport we enjoy. I pray and hope baseball comes back. And if you do too, please leave a like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel because it would be really appreciated. And uh, yeah, we are all praying for MLB to come back, the lockout to end so we can see all our favorite players play and uh, the MLB come back in the form. But uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully the MLB PA and MLB can, you know, just come to an agreement somehow. The MLB PA and MLB can meet in the middle here. Uh, but yeah, I love y'all. Thank you for watching and we're praying. We, we want baseball back, baby.